How much longer, Sombran? This place makes me feel uneasy. Not long now. I'm almost done. Oh, it seems we have company. I told Sombran we should have talked to you before coming out here, but he was so insistent. He wanted to try something with the book, away from other people, just in case. Sombran thinks my only chance is if we return to the Deadlands. The nature of the realm naturally draws off my power, making it easier to control. Sombran doesn't think so. He says that's the last place they'd look for us. I'm still attuned to the realm from the trial in the Ashen Forest. Sombran believes he'll have enough time to teach me if I'm not in danger of imminently exploding. Worse? I suppose that depends on your perspective. It has been growing in intensity again, back at the same level as when we first left the vault. Sombran is worried I don't have much time. That's why he's being so insistent. I'm actually glad you found us. I didn't want to leave without an explanation. But I'm afraid that Kali doesn't have a lot of time. Kali's power is recharging faster than I anticipated. It will soon reach the point where I won't be able to help her. Then she'll either release it and destroy everything around her, or it will consume her. Either way, people die, including Kalia. Use the Mysterium Zarxis to open a portal to the Deadlands. It's the only place I can think of where Kali will be safe. The realm naturally siphons off a portion of our power. That will give me time to teach Kalia to control it on her own. It's a big place. Zaina taught me how to avoid notice there. And it's the last place Dagon's followers will think to look for us. As soon as Kalia can control her power, we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, my friend. For everything. I'll return the book when we come back, Evelyn. Nah, you keep it. I think it was meant for you. I hope Sombran's right and he can help her. But taking refuge in the Deadlands? That's like the sausage leaping out of the pan because it thinks the fire will be safer. As for me, I never want to visit the Deadlands again. Hey, it wasn't my book. I was just keeping it safe for... Well, as crazy as it sounds, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. He certainly did more with it than I ever could. And I'm not about to miss the bad dreams and the waking visions. We go to the party. It's taking place in the gardens behind the governor's mansion. To think, this all started because I was curious about a coded journal I found in Emperor Leovic's old retreat. We figured out the secret, and now we celebrate. I'll 
see you at the party. Last one there doesn't get any cake. That sounds delicious, Assassin. You must leave me a copy of the recipe. Welcome to the celebration, mercenary. There are many here who wish to thank you and share a drink or two. But where are Sombrin and Kalia? I expected you to bring them with you. Choosing exile to spare others from danger is a noble decision. I wish them well, even as I worry about Sombrin and Kalia out there on their own. Everyone else has gathered. Eat, drink, talk to your friends. In time, I shall address the crowd. Anyone you like, they have all come to show you their appreciation. And do not leave too swiftly. I intend to boast of your accomplishments soon. I see Evely has arrived. Perhaps you should begin with her.
So this is what it's like being the hero everyone looks up to? Most of the stories I've read end with a hero riding off into the sunset before anyone can properly thank them. But I feel like we ought to stay for just a little while, don't you? I don't know about that, but I certainly feel more experienced, and I have you to thank. Well, you and Captain Rianne and Governor Keshu and poor Farrell Lupus. Can you believe this all started because I couldn't leave Emperor Leovic's secret alone? That's right, I almost forgot. And we should be ready to help Sombrin and Kalia when they return. I don't believe that Mayroon's Dagon and his followers are just going to leave them alone. I really thought the ambitions were actual weapons, though. Here, your share of the last of our compensation from Leowin. And a little something from me. I learned so much at your side. If you ever need any help, just send word and I'll come running. Oh look, I think Governor Keshu's ready to speak. Welcome, people of Blackwood and honored friends. We have weathered a terrible storm, so now we celebrate. Many had a hand in this victory, including those who gave their lives for our cause. But I want to honor the two heroes beside me. Without them, all would have been lost. So stand tall and raise your cups to the sky. Remember those who fell and praise the deeds of those who lived. To victory! Ha 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 ha! 